Hi YouTube and welcome back to my Dragon Age Let's Play. Uh, so this is the first uh, episode of the actual gameplay and yes I'm talking over a cutscene but there's no dialogue yet. So I just wanted to, to say hi to everyone and uh, let's enjoy uh, this uh, this first cutscene here with my, uh, my character finally uh, finally in the game and gonna meet uh, meet some of her uh, her companions. <laughs> They aren't very nice to her at the beginning here, as you'll see in a moment. Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead, except for you. What do you mean, everyone is dead? Explain this. I... can't. What do you mean, you can't? I don't know what that is, or how it got there. You're lying! We need her, Cassandra. Classic good cop, bad cop right there. I can't believe it. All those people... dead. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember... running. Things were chasing me and then... a woman? A woman? She reached out to me, but then... Go to the forward camp, Liliana. I will take her to the rift. What did happen? It... will be easier to show you. It's a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. You say it may be the key. To doing what? Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. It is our only chance, however. And yours. You still think I did this? To myself? Not intentionally. Something clearly went wrong. And if I'm not responsible? Someone is. And you are our only suspect. You wish to prove your innocence? This is the only way. I understand. Then... I'll do what I can. Whatever it takes. I always figure it's good to have Cassandra on your side, so I'm always nice about this part. They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves, as she did. Until the breach is sealed. Go. 
There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Your mark must be tested on something smaller than the breach. Well, I finally get to patrol here, and I actually get to uh, patrol the character. Open the gate! We are heading into the valley! A lot of dialogue is still at this point, um, so I'm not going to be doing as much voiceover uh, as I normally do in the game. But uh, in, uh, in future episodes, there will be more, uh, more action and less background dialogue and things, but this is the you know, beginning of the game, you get a lot of exposition, learn a lot. The pulses are coming faster now. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you... Stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. Stay behind me! Conveniently located uh, mage staff. If I was a warrior, it'd be a big sword. You know, depending on what you choose, you have the right weapon to use. It's always somewhat convenient, though. <laughs> All right, so this is the first time I have a chance to attack, and yeah, was a I should have turned those off. But uh, I kind of like the, uh, the mages. I mean, I, I usually play melee characters, and here, obviously, I'm not playing melee character, but I love the way they do the mages in this game. It's over. Drop your weapon now. Do you really think I need a staff to be dangerous? Is that supposed to reassure me? I haven't used my magic on you yet. <sighs> You're right. You don't need a staff, but you should have one. I cannot protect you. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Damn straight, I came willingly. <laughs> Take these potions. Maker knows what we will face. Where are all your soldiers? At the forward camp, or fighting. We are on our own for now. So here we get to do a little bit more running, and there's some more demons to fight, and gives you a chance at this stage of the game to kind of learn how to uh, manage your spells there, and abilities and things. If we flank them, we may gain the advantage. I only have two spells right now anyway. It's the uh, electricity spell, and the lightning spell, and the fireball, so... Not a heck of a lot I can do here, but it's a good introduction, and, and it, they kind of ease you into uh, your role as the mage. Lost a little bit there. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm gonna go this one. Yep, more demons. Up on the hill! It attacks from a distance! I thought they're gonna give me a some hit there, like, oh, I should be attacking the guy at the top. Also, uh, great. We at the rift soon. You get to meet an old friend if you remember Dragon Age 2 and uh, my future boyfriend. <laughs> well, Alana's future boyfriend anyway. Since this is a uh, the soulless romance. 
romance. I mean, it's nice that Solus is like one of the earliest companions that you get to, to meet in the ah! game. They're falling from the breach. Yeah, oh, more demons. Sure, these guys first. I decided yet if I want her to be more of a healer or more of a, um, just kind of doing damage kind of mage. I can always make Solus the healer. So. so I do kind of like blasting the, uh, the enemies, so I'll probably be going into one of the damage classes. I have to decide which one yet. We're Sol getting close to the rift. You can hear the fighting. And since Solus Who's is fighting? the romance. You'll see soon. We must help them. He's gonna be uh, my mage companion for the majority of this game. Uh, so sorry for Dorian fans. Dorian will be uh, accompanying me that often unless I need more than one mage in the battle. And Vivian has never accompanied me because I do not like that one. There we go, Beric! Quickly! Before more come through! And Solus. Holding my hand already. <laughs> what did you do? I did nothing. The credit is yours. I closed that thing. How? Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself? Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. <laughs> Varric Tethrus. Rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag-along. Are you at the Chantry, or...? <laughs> Was that a serious question? Technically, I'm a prisoner, just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you, considering current events. It's good to meet you, Varric. You may reconsider that stance in time. Oh. I'm sure we'll become great friends in the valley, Chuckles. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. <laughs> My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. You seem to know a great deal about it all. Like you, Solus is an apostate. Technically, all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels have allowed me to learn much of the Fade. Far beyond the experience of any circle mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the Breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed regardless of origin. And what will you do once this is over? One hopes those in power will remember who helped, and who did not. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is a mage, but I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.